Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. If you're a Lightroom Classic user, you probably already know that if you're viewing an image in Lightroom, often in the top left-hand corner is some information about that image. Also, there's some information on each of the images shown in the film strip. And if you're in grid view, there's some information on each of those images as well. What you may not know is you have a lot of control over that information, what is displayed and how it is displayed. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about information in Lightroom Classic. Let's start with the information that is often in the top left-hand corner of an image. You'll see it there when you're in loop view of the library module or if you're in the develop module. Now, right now, for this specific image, I can see the file name, the date and time that I took the photo, and the resolution. If I hit the I key on my keyboard, I'll toggle to a different set of information. Again, I have the file name, but this time I have the exposure settings I had on my camera and the lens and focal length used to capture the shot. If I hit the I key again, it clears everything. So I have three different states. First screen, that's in this case showing me the date and time and resolution. The next screen with exposure info and lens info and off. I could edit everything here or I could have it not show up at all. To do that, we need to go to View Options. If you're in the Library module, go up to View and then down to View Options. You can see on a Mac, the keyboard shortcut is Command-J. On a PC, it should be Control-J. When I do that, I'll get this Library View Options dialog box. First of all, um, this little drop-down. Right now, I'm seeing Info 1 up here. If I go to Info 2, I'll see Info 2 there. If you don't want this stuff to show up ever, just uncheck the box, and you'll never see it. You could hit the I key as much as you want. It will never show up. All right, now, as far as editing what you want, you have those two different screens. They're calling it Loop Info 1 and Loop Info 2. Loop Info 1 is what is being shown now. I could change each of those three lines with the drop downs. Right now, by default, it's showing file name and copy name. If I go there, I could change it to anything I want. I could go, I'll change it to, that's already being shown, like crop dimension already being shown on megapixels there. Like, I could change it to anything I want each of those three lines so I could change them to whatever I think I want them to be. If I want to go back to default, just click Use Defaults and it will go back to default. Similarly, for the second screen, I could display that by going to Info 2 and then I could change that in the same exact way. So I could change these to anything I think they should be, whatever. And then if I, oh, you know, I messed it all up. Let's use the defaults. I could click there. Also, let's say you just turn this off totally. Uh, they won't display when you hit the I key, but if I want to briefly show, let's say, Loop Info 2, when I change an image, it'll show up there for about five seconds and then it will clear. So I'll turn that on for now and let me go to a different image. So I'll click on this image and you'll see it will show. That's the Loop Info 2 for about five seconds and it's going to clear. And it will do that every time I go to a new image, it will show and then clear eventually. So that is um, something you may prefer. Uh, if you do, you could then go to, get into the, go to these view options and you could just turn it off up here and turn it on down here. I like it to show in the more conventional way with default settings. That's the way I like to do it. Then we have some settings down here is to show message when loading or rendering photos. Uh, down here at the bottom part of the photo, it may show a message uh, that it's doing something, whatever. Um, I have that, so it's on. Now, as far as videos are concerned, you have a couple options here. I don't have any videos in my Lightroom library, but if you want to show the frame number of a video, you could have that on. And if you want to play HD videos in draft quality, if you have an older computer, it may help you uh, better watch a video from within Lightroom by having that checked. So those, again, those are for those last two are for video um, 
that you may videos you may have in your Lightroom library. I don't again do anything with videos, so that's not applicable to me. Now you'll notice there's another little tab here, Grid View. Let me click on that, and you can see we switched to Grid View. And let me move this over here. Now we have a lot of options here. First of all, the cells themselves. We have two different types of cells. We have compact cells. This is what I prefer and what you're viewing right now. Or we have expanded cells. If you have expanded cells, you have a header and a footer on the cells. Uh, by default, what it will show in the header is the, the, or the image number as it is in the grid. The file name, the resolution, and what type of file is it? Like this is a TIFF file. Also at the bottom in the footer, you have star ratings and color labels. You can see this has a yellow label. This has a blue label. This has five stars. The other ones don't have any stars. So you could see that is all being shown. Now let's kind of go through this. I'm going to leave it in expanded cells for a moment. Show clickable items on mouse over only. Uh, as it is now, we're not seeing everything that is available. If I turn that off, you'll see all of a sudden now um, three things it looks like appear. Uh, we have these rotate um, arrows, so if I need to rotate an image, like a vertical image should be horizontal or something like that, I could click on those. Also, um, when that is on, we'll only see flags when they're active. When it is off, we'll see flags when they're not active, so you're seeing that as well. I prefer to have that off. When it is off, what will happen is they'll appear when I hover over an image. You can see how they're appearing when I hover over an image. That's the way I prefer to do it. Um, tint grid cells with label colors. You see, this has a blue label, so it's tinted blue. This is a yellow label, so it's tinted yellow. And you could go, like, by default, it's going to be a 20% kind of tint. Or you can make it darker with, like, 50% tint if you want. I mean, like that. So whatever helps you better see the, the tint of that grid cell. Um, let's see, uh, show image info tool tips. When you hover over an image, it's probably not going to do it while this is open. If you hover over an image, you'll see some tool tip will come out. It's showing me the file name, exposure info, and the lens info. And you can see that shows that's, that's called a tool tip. So you'll see that when that is checked. All right. Cell icons. We have flags. We're seeing those. We could turn them off. We see thumbnail badges. These are these badges down here. And I'll talk more about those in a minute. Unsaved metadata. Um, that is if you, more often, if you're sending an image off to a third party plugin and it comes back, there may be some metadata that the plugin wrote to the image that Lightroom isn't saving to the catalog. By default, you'll actually see that, but um, it, it, if you check the box, you'll always see it, I guess, is a better way to put it. I have it off. Um, I don't need it checked. Uh, quick collection markers. That is um, these little circles that are on the image. And I'll talk more about that in a moment. You don't see the little circles here at the moment, but I'll show you that more in more detail in a moment. Now, as far as the compact cell extras, let me go back to compact cells. We have index number. You can see these these kind of uh, lightly shown numbers in the top left-hand corner. Uh, the rotation, these again are if I'm hovering over the image, you'll see those rotation arrows. Uh, the top label, you can see that in this case it's the file name. And you could change that to anything you want. Right, I don't know common attributes or something. So you could change that with that drop down there. Uh, the bottom label, in this case, it's the star rating and the color label, rating and label. Again, you could change that to anything you want. I don't know. I like it with rating and label. So that's the compact cell extras. Now the expanded cell extras, let's go back to expanded cell and you know show the header with labels. You can you know, turn that off if you want. And by default, it's going to show index number, crop dimensions, copy name or file base name, and file extension. Again, you could change that to anything you want. So you could change these to whatever you want shown up in that header. All right. And 
you know, and if you go, well, I really screwed that up, I want to go back to defaults, just click on use defaults right there. Now, as far as the footer, you could show it or not show it when you're in expanded cells. You could use, include the color label and include the rotation buttons. Again, those will now only show though when I hover over the image because of the setting that I have um, here, show clickable items on mouse over only. So those are like controls you have over this grid view. Now there's even more control. Um, let's look at these little badges here. See, I have them shown. Uh, those are clickable. And there's that little circle I was talking about. See that little circle? Now those badges, for instance, this one here, if I hover because I have tool tips on, it's saying photo has keywords. If I go to the right, photo has GPS coordinates. If I go to the right, let it think, photo is in a collection. And then finally, photo has develop adjustments. So I did adjustments to this. Let's go to GPS. If I click on it, it'll bring me to the map module and it will show me where the image was taken. Right there. I was standing right there when I took that image. So that's what those little badges are down here. And I want to make note, they're also down here in the film strip and they're just as clickable. So if I want to go and click on the exposure, like the one that saying it was has develop adjustments, as soon as I click on that, I'm in the develop module now and I could go back to editing the image. So those are what those are. Now this little circle here, this allows you to add it to what is called a quick collection. Also, it's called a targeted collection. Let me show you over here on the top left-hand side, or in the left-hand side of, um, of um, the catalog area here. See right here, it says quick collection. It has one image in it. Let me just click on it. You can see it has an image of Rocky, my cat Rocky's in there, right? Let me go back to the collection I was using that I called working collection. Let's say on the film strip or on the grid view of images, if I click on this little circle, what it did was is it added it to the quick collection. So you could go through, you don't have to be in a collection, you could be in folders of images and just click on those little circles and you'll add it to by default this, the quick collection. So every time I click on it, it adds it. If I click on it again, it will remove it. Also, there's a keyboard shortcut for this, the B key. So if I'm on this image and I want to remove it because it's already in the quick collection, just hit the B key, B as in boy, and it will remove it. If I go back to where it was and I want to add it back, I could hit the B key. In the B key, see it said added to quick collection, and now it's back up here in the quick collection. Now you don't have to use the quick collection as the targeted collection. You could pick any collection. Uh, let me go to, um, I don't know, let's make uh, Animals of Forest Lawn, all right? Let me right click on that. This is a different collection now, and I'm going to set this as the target collection. All right, so Animals of Forest Lawn is the target collection. You can see there's just some animals there, right? Let me go back to my working collection. Let me go to this image of my cat Jonesy, right? Let me add this one. I'm going to hit the B key on my keyboard. And you'll notice instead of going up here in the quick collection, because that's now no longer the targeted collection, the um, Animals of Forest Lawn is. And you can see there is Jonesy in this collection. Now, I don't want him here because he's not an animal of Forest Lawn. Forest Lawn is a cemetery in Buffalo that's like every notable Buffalonian that has ever lived is probably buried in that cemetery from President Fillmore all the way to Rick James, right? So we could, um, obviously Jonesy wasn't in Forest Lawn Cemetery when I took his photo, so I'm going to hit the B key to get him out of there. So that's how you um, could make a targeted collection and what those little circles mean that are in the corners of the image. So let me go back up here. I'm going to hit the, I'm going to go back to my view options because I don't like to use expanded cells. I'm going to use these compact cells. I prefer that. So that's for me and pretty much everything else is defaulted. I like that. But let's now go down to these images down here in the film strip. You have a lot of control here as well. To get to the, the view options for the film strip, what you need to do is right click on one of the images go down to view options and you could see that show badges 
So if I turn that off, those badges disappeared, right? Let me go back to that and put those back. See, I'll right click, go down. Um, ignore clicks on badges. If that is on, then when I click on those, nothing will happen. See, I'm clicking and nothing's happening. All right, go back to view options. I turn that back the way I had it. Go back to view options, show ratings and picks. So the ratings and picks are now gone. I want to show them. Show stack counts. You can see over here this image is in a stack of three images and it's showing the stack count right there. If I right click, go to view options and I turn that off, you can see that it's gone. It's not there anymore. Go to view options and turn it back on. All right. I think you're getting the, the gist of this. So show image info tooltips. That is again, when I hover over the image, I get a tooltip. Or if I hover, hover over a badge, I get that tooltip. If you don't want to see those, turn that off. Show index number. Those are the numbers in the left-hand corner here. So I could turn those off if I want to. I like them on. And finally, at the very bottom is show photos in Navigator on mouse over. What this means is in the Navigator window, which is in the library module top left hand corner, I think it's in the develop module actually too. Yeah, it's in the develop module too. Um, if I hover over an image, it will show it in that Navigator window. That's all. That's all it is. I'll right click. I like it on, as you can see. So basically, I have them all on except for ignore clicks on badges because I like to click on badges. Uh, so that is why that is. So that is a lot of info in Lightroom Classic and how you could edit it to set it up so it, it works for you better. Hopefully that helps. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs>